everyone thanks so much for coming through to this video today we are going to have so much fun painting these vw vans um where i live here in cornwall in england these are very very popular they're very much seaside camping vans so yeah let's get stuck in there will be a painting pack available down below if you want to paint along um i will only be using resources that are actually in the painting box so you can follow along you might want to save the video watch it and then get the kit and then um, have a go again. It's good to watch all the way through. Now, I haven't done a practice run. I like you to see the whole thing from beginning to end. All I have done is done an outline drawing of the vans before I get started. That will already be provided on the canvas when you get it. So that part will be done. Okay, going straight in. What I'm going to do in the background is the ground is going to be like greyed out like it's just part of a pathway a car park or a road or whatever we want then i'm going to do like the edge of the beach so we'll have some sand up the side then we'll have the sea and then we'll have the sky and then we can work in the windows once we go to the background but we're going to do that last i think or maybe we'll do that first because then we can go over it with the vans yes we'll do it first so uh, we, for this we will need your large flat brush that comes in the kit if you have a full set of flat brushes it's more like a medium brush um, I have tilted the canvas a bit today because the sun's shining directly through my window and we kind of miss I can see on the camera we kind of miss some of the view so I've just got a bit of fabric there to rest on so you can see better right so if we're just, we're just going to go straight in with grey so in the kit you will have some black basically and you'll have some white so just take a little bit of the black and mix in some of the white as you can see the black is a very powerful color you don't need much of it although i got quite a bit out only because i think we're going to use it again later um you don't need much so we're mixing in as much white as we want until we get the color we're going for i only really want a pale gray and it might be that we change the colour as we go, but for the meantime, we're just putting down a flat colour of grey to fill in underneath the vans as though they're just parked somewhere, a car park or on the road, whichever. And we just keep mixing it. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same shade each time, because that, in fact, that makes it look a bit more natural. So don't worry too much please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please do check out all my other videos there are over 300 now if you're watching this when it's released in the future if you're watching it there's probably a lot more i try to release one a week um that has a kit with it and in between that i'll try and do some more tutorials for um more intermediate skills and more advanced skills where there won't be kits you'll because you by then you'll have your own your own brushes your own your own paints i'm just going to get some more water if you find that the brush is lagging a bit on your canvas sticking a bit and um, dragging on the teeth of the canvas which is the little grooves then you'll you're best off wetting your brush a bit more um it hasn't got any way of kind of moving around you can see it so it glides more when you've got a little bit more water on i'm just going to put that like that under the wheel because it can't it's kind of buried right so from there i think i'm going to leave that as where the foreground is we can do other things to it we can make some paving stones but I might just leave it quite loose, quite flat like that, because what we really want to punch out is the VWs. We want them to really stand out. Then I want to come in with a kind of sandy colour. So I think what we'll do is we'll... I like to mix all my colours just from my, the main eight, uh, eight that I have here. So there's a lemon yellow, a mid yellow, scarlet red and... Um, it's like a purple red is magenta then we've got ultramarine blue and this is a cyan blue i will put all of the relevant names for derwent and liquitex and things like that um so if you choose to get the another one of my colors but in another range of paints then you can and you, you can match it up then we've just got black and white 
okay over here are other options that just come in my set which are like a muddy brown and a green uh, I very rarely use them now I tend to mix all my colors from here so to kind of make a sandy color what I always do is try to make an orange so I use um, just to show you quickly I'll use I'm not mixing a lot I just want to show you quickly and then I'll make a, a lot more for me so we've kind of made a bit of an orange there now as we add white we get more of like a sandy color can you see that okay so we'll just go straight in with that here um what we can do is like make a little fence here or a little ridge or something but you know it doesn't really matter too much i think there's a bit of orange left on my brush there that i hadn't really pushed out and if we feel as though we don't like the color um these acrylic paints they're so opaque we can go over after anyway and it's fine you know it's no worries um, as you can see i'm adding a bit more white now because i'm thinking oh it's a bit dark but it is a nice sandy color then we're going to put some c colors in so always have a rag around as well so when you brush off when you wash off your oops I went a bit mad washing it then you can get the excess water off a little bit so i'm going to go in for the cyan blue here not too much i'm going to mix in some of that white and we get a really lovely vibrant blue i think if we go for yellow there as well we start to get like a little turquoisey green color we just add in a tiny bit of the medium yellow can you see so it's like a nice turquoisey colour. There we go. I like that. So let's put some turquoisey sea colours in the background. And what we can do is sort of come along and then we'll start to add some more of the blue in. Okay. Um, I'm actually using the edge of the brush just to make it look like um, waves. And that there's C back there. Then we need to go really dark with that dark blue because the more into the background you go, the darker the C gets. It becomes um, more intense. So there we are. That's kind of looking like C. And so what we need to do is if there's any windows, we need to come across and make sure we're putting in the colours that are behind. Does that make sense? Because that's what you'll be seeing through. And what we'll do is we'll also go over the windows afterwards to give it a bit of a glaze so it will look like glass over the blue. Okay, I'm trying to get that line as straight as I can. We want a straight horizon line, but we're not worrying too much. Remember, we're doing this for fun. I don't think we can see it in that side window, so that's fine. Great. Okay. So now we're going to come in and do the sky. I'm just going to correct this bit here, which isn't quite, it's not going quite straight off. We can blend them in a bit more as well. Like There we go. And we can keep changing things as we go. It's fine. That's it. And then when we draw the van over the top, we can make any final adjustments then. So now for the sky, which I always like to use ultramarine for the sky. Ultramarine blue. I'm just getting quite a bit out and then I'm going to add some white. We need quite a bit of white. Again, ultramarine is like black. It's quite a strong colour. We want a nice kind of summery light blue sky. I don't want it too strong. Like an almost white blue and i'm going to start at the top and we're just going to come in i need more water on my brush and we're just going to come in and go from one side to the other and bring the color all the way down again please do subscribe if you're enjoying this video please do save my video to your watch list so you can come along later there's a there's a time-lapse version so if you have the skills of painting and you just need an idea you can watch that you can watch me all fast forwarded and and just get to the main points um and there's also lots of other videos there
So I'm kind of just making the colour up as I go along. I might go a bit more blue. I might go a bit more white. Um, just, I'm just enjoying the process. And that's what I want you to do. All of my tutorials are about you enjoying the process. Don't get too caught up on the perfection. These are all, you know, try never to be more than like about an hour and a half. Something like that because you just want to come and have some switch off time from our daily grind and do something a little bit fun so i hope that's what my tutorials bring to you and come down here also my challenge my challenge my channel is quite new so anything you can do to help would be awesome um there is a wish list or Amazon there for anyone that would like to support my free lessons. It just helps me to try out new resources and then I've got I can teach you more things. Right. I'm kind of happy with the sky. Um I don't want too many brush marks though, so we're just gonna gently tickle over the surface and make sure I can't see too many brush strokes we want a kind of nice clear sky i'm not particularly bothered about clouds but we can add them in the end if we want i'm just going to come back here and just bring that back in and straighten that out a little bit okay until i feel as though i'm i'm happy as i say we can add more in after um, we just want to make sure that we've at least got that at the right level. Nearly there. Cool. So now we need to come in and do the sky above. <laughs> so that where we see that um, sea line, we can now see the sky. So coming in and making a bit more of that blue again. Keeping my brush nice and wet. And we're just going in with the same flat brush. You can swap to the smaller uh, flat brush that is in your kit if you want to. You might find it a bit easier. But I'm just trying to get it done nice and quickly. And as, as, and, and as less strokes as possible. Just so that you're not... The tutorial doesn't get too long. It's nice and quick for you. And you can fit those in with your daily life quite quickly and easily. Okay. There we are. So now we're joining the front to the back. If that makes sense, our bands will be able to stand out more. And, you know, it will make sense that through the windows you can see some of that background. Now, I'm only using the photo as a reference. It's, uh, it's not, as you can see, it's not exactly how I've done it. Um, I wanted to be able to get the whole point of campers is that you're going off camping somewhere nice. So we're on a beach, we're next to a beach somewhere in this one. Now we can come in and do more of the background afterwards. And um, what we're going to do is swap our brush and now we're going to come to like the first layer of our vans. So put that brush down. So this is the smaller flat brush, I'm going to get it nice and wet and we're going to come in i think and do this one which is black and red so i'm going to get some black oh i don't really need to did i we had some out um i'm kind of going to do it gray to start with kind of a mid-range color so then we can do some really dark areas with the per um with the plain black and then we can do some light areas with some very light gray so anything that's kind of black i'm coming in and just doing very dark grey. Okay, that's just how I work. I like to kind of find my mid-tone colour and then find my dark and my light and then we can create some 3D-ness with it then. Okay, there we go. The angle brush might have suited that a bit better. I could have maybe just got in a bit easier. So you might want to swap to the angle brush in your in your kit help you get those shapes in nice but again we're having fun there's no need to worry too much um so we're coming down the front i am going to swap to my angle brush because i'm finding more and more that i need that angle so 
this is your angle brush and what I usually do is I get it really really nice and wet and I push the the try and push the bristles together so I've got that done we'll get I think we'll mix a bit more up and then we'll use the angle brush which will really help us to come in down here I think that was a bit too black because we have got other areas that will be completely black now we do want to go really carefully round the VW sign at the front but don't forget we can always still go over it we'll do the background layers of the vans first and then we can just go over it get some more water always make sure you've got water on your brush not too much you don't want it to be your paints to be runny you still want them to be nice and opaque and to cover the canvas okay so there we go this is a beginner tutorial um, I will start to do some more intermediates I haven't done any intermediates for a long time um, where there'll be no kits but they will be more detailed um, and detailed tutorials right so we're coming around here now this is a bit darker so I am going to come in a little bit darker across here it just kind of shows the difference where the glass is outlined on them like that and um, where the rest of the design is kind of a different slightly different shade you can turn your brush around to go up the other way as well that really helps okay so that just gives us some idea of where the frames of the window join the rest of the van um, and don't forget we will be doing a wash over the glass of very very pearl grey and that will kind of push the background into the background more once we get going with that right so under here it's just all completely black we can't actually see what's going on under here we can't see what's wheel or anything so I'm going to come around here and under here and then the wheel here and I'm using again the angle of the brush just to help me get those lovely curves in um, it just it's one of my favorite brushes the angle brush it just does so much it does nice straight edges and then when you want to do a curve you've just got to swing it round and then twist it so the points at that end and then you can do it the other way Hopefully you can see that okay on the camera. Um, this wheel we can see a little bit more of, but it's very dark here because that's the bit where the wheel, there's some shadow. And then the tyre comes around here. So that will be later. Later we can get that lighter when we come and do our next layers. Then I'm just going to grey up a bit just to show that there's kind of another colour here. And it is much lighter. I think that's where the light's kind of shining on there. And then I'm almost just going to get white to come in and do that in a bit there. Okay. Remember, we've got lots and lots of layers to do yet. Well, not lots and lots, but there are more. <laughs> and then we can um, work in our detail then once we've got the main, the main colours down. So we need to go in for red. Um, it is quite a bright red, so I'm not going to do too much to that red. I like it as it is. Let's go in and we'll just get that first colour down. Make sure there's water on your brush. Just water and paint, a good mixture. There we go. I'm going to go around that light so I don't forget it's there. And that one there. Okay. Just looking at that picture. That is also red, but there is a line that we need to draw in there in a bit with black paint, which is fine. Just so that we get in there all the different colours. So we need to draw that coming round. More paint. Um, 
And what I'm doing is just going over my strokes and making sure I'm pushing the paint into the canvas and making sure you can't really see any brush strokes. Just got a bit more water there so that I can get my brush moving a bit. Make sure you've also got enough paint on there. So now I'm just going to try and come around all our lights because I don't normally like I do a big wash over the whole thing but where we've got some, some more detailed work like this I prefer to leave the detail bits blank rather than have a background colour there that I already have to kind of battle with and go over because not all paints are really opaque like super opaque that they'll go over other dark colours so and then remain and then retain their own colour so yeah I like to just with some details I like to keep them white and then come over them afterwards okay so I think that's all done don't forget we can come over and do another layer after Okay. okay. Yeah, happy with that. So that's our first fan main colours done. We'll just actually come over on the bumper again. I'm going to do that grey because then where there are some darker colours, we can come over and, and put those darker colours above. And where there's any like shadow, um, highlight, like some shadow on there, we can. Oops, that was a bit grey. It's fine actually. Quite like that dark grey. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go all the way across, even though that. Oh no, I won't. I'll keep the Yeah, I'll keep that sign separate. So a bit more water on my brush. Starting to. The bristles are starting to spread out a bit. I like to keep them pushed together. Okay, I'm just filling in that corner and coming along. Again, don't worry about every little stroke. Just we can go over anything that we we feel we need to. Okay, so this one here is a really, really nice blue. Now, the way I'm going to get that colour is I'm going to mix the blues, the two blues, and then I'm going to add some white. Um, and then I'm going to keep mixing until I get the blue that I want. Put some more white in there. Mm, I'm getting there. I'm not sure. Just try a bit more ultramarine. Just keep adding a little bit of a colour until you feel as though you're happy. Yeah, I think we've got it now. It's a pretty good match. What do you reckon? I think it is. Okay, so I'm going to go straight in with that colour um, on the areas it needs to go on. And we'll just fill it in. It will have, has it actually? It hasn't, no, it hasn't got like darker edges, black edges on this one. It's just straight away blue around the windows. Get some more water, some more paint. So we can just come along straight there. And then straight down. The only thing that I mustn't forget at the end is the wipers. I don't draw them in in pencil because we're going to go over them. So that's something I hope I don't forget, you guys. Get some water on there. Right. Perfect. Yeah, I like that colour. I think we can always change it up a bit if we need to. But I think I like that. We'll have, come and do a second coat because I can still see some canvas sneaking through there. Just going to come across the top. Just do the top ridge, even though the whole thing on the top is blue. We want to keep some of the direction of the brushes to match where everything is because it will make it look like it is coming from that direction. In other words, keep your brush moving in the direction of what you're painting. It makes it more real because you will see 
some kind of strokes in here it does help right then we'll do them there sorry if you can hear some noise my window cleaner has just come These are right outside the window and I sit underneath the window to paint. So he's right there. Now on the top of this roof, you can see actually some really lovely highlights on there. So we'll get those in as our final, final layer. I love it when you get to the final layers and then you can put in all the bits that pop. Right, so I'm not even going to attempt it with that brush. I'm going to get the smallest round brush that you've got in your kit. And we're going to use that blue and we're going to come in and just detail in the blue bits because we've already done the blue. And then we can come round with the white. What we'll do is if uh, we'll put like it almost grey down and then we'll come over with white and then that will help to make it more 3D. You'll see what I mean when we do it. Okay. So that's that one done. I think actually the blue needs to kind of come across and make that more full. That's it. Now it looks more like a VW. <laughs> While I've got that small brush, I'm going to get into the the darker grey over here as well. And let's do this one as well. While I'm here. Any questions, please do pop them in the comments. I love to hear from you. As I say, I'm a new channel, so any kind of interaction with my videos is really appreciated because it helps YouTube know that people are watching and to let other people know they can watch. I've only been doing it just under a year properly, um, but I am hoping... get much busier anyway um so i think with that gray i'm gonna just come in here with my detail brush while i've got it and we'll get that first layer in of getting in the wing mirrors okay there's one coming from this this one and it's also the same on the other side kind of comes down and then out so I'm going to grey that because we can then come over and make it look shiny by putting highlights in and also any darker bits okay and then we'll do the same with this one more water on my brush a little bit of white Okay, so we can kind of do the same with the light, but what we'll do is we'll make it even, even lighter, but we need a bit more mixed. So let's get a really nice pale grey. We'll get in there a bit more. Black is such a strong colour. So if you learn anything as a beginner, if you add black to anything, make sure it's only a little bit right. So I'm going to come in with a light, so I'm going to just go all the way around. I'm going to do the outside and I'm going to do the inside because we can come in and do the detail afterwards. I've just added a little bit more white to that bit in the middle because that is going to be the lighter bit. Okay, um, and around here, whoops, I just put the white on there. It needs to be grey, just a little bit, just to give... Kind of the impression that there's something there these are going to be orange but the outside can be sort of gray black still using my detail brush There's another one over there okay and then we'll do the same with these while i'm at it because the yeah, around that's going to be mainly white we may as well just come in and get some kind of color on here and as you can see in the picture the silver but silver when you paint is lots of shades of gray 
So we're going to come in lots of shades of grey. With our little liner brush, keep adding water. I always forget to add water and then it starts sticking on the canvas. And then I know. Hopefully this won't be too much of a long one for you guys today. Um, as I say, I don't practice, so I never really know how long they're going to be. We need a little bit of orange in there. So hopefully you can remember to make orange. We had some of the red, we had some of the yellow. And I'm just going to do it on the edge of this one here because we don't need very much of it. But it is quite a strong orange on here. So we want it to be a quite powerful orange. There we go. Perfect. Again, we can come over that if we're not happy with that after. Um, and then we need to come over here and it needs to be orange, but it's, it is lighter because it's more, got more glass over it. So it's more hidden. So and luckily we've got the gray there anyway. So that's kind of hiding it. You can barely see it there, but there we go. A little bit more of the darker color. We'll put a little bit more there as well. And that's all it needed, just that tiny little bit of evidence. Um, right, detail brush down for a bit, I think. Now, this white bit here, although it looks like it's white, it's not. It's actually got very subtle shades of blue from the blue and grey from the ground. So I'm not going to... I'm going to get white with a little bit of a hint of that colour in it. We don't really want it to be the same because we know it's white, but we just want a little hint of that colour in there to show that the white is actually soaking up all the colours around it. I'm just coming all the way down. Well, actually, I shouldn't have done that because there's blue in there, but that's fine. The rest is white, so let's go. Let's make sure it is really white. Just go all over it with that slightly what bluey white. Nothing is ever really completely white, so just remember that when you're painting. If there's a white area, it won't be. It will be various shades of whatever colour is a, is around it. Um, sometimes just kind of grey. Okay, and um, we don't have to be too picky, too fussy about that colour because we can't even really see it. I'm just dotting it in okay so you can kind of see the difference there it's made it look a bit more real um now i'm going to come in with the blue that we had there's not much of it left there but that's this bit here get some more water get some more of the paint lifted there we go and we can come and tidy up our edges afterwards but we're still just blocking in the colors really um, but as much as we can get right the first time, then the easier it will be when we come in and tidy up. Okay. Perfect. So we need to do that wheel in there. Um, it's kind of silvery grey, isn't it? So let's put this silvery grey on there. And then we can have slightly darker grey. around there. Let me turn the brush around a minute. We need some of that grey here because we've kind of missed some of the land. There we go. Kind of just disappears into the wheel. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just have it kind of disappearing in. So, uh, I think what I'll do is get the, yeah, we'll still have the straight, the angle brush, we'll still have that one, but now I want to look really closely at the pictures and see where there's some darker versions of that colour and some lighter versions of that colour, okay? So, straight away, I can see like a dark edge coming around here. Now these just help to give some kind of feeling of 3D-ness. 
so we're putting in lights and dark so i've remade that color but i haven't added any of the white in and i'm looking where i can see shadow on the on the shine of it and then i'm adding in some of that shadow okay and that's it that's all i'm doing so i'm just helping to build up a 3d feel to the vans um, again down here a bit darker there we go nice all the way down um, there's also this bit here at the front remember that's completely separate so that needs to be I don't know if you can see that on there but that needs to be darker so I want to make some more of that color as we're losing it again <laughs> I'm only mixing a little bit of each colour because I know how to mix it and I don't want to waste the paint. It just dries up and then you've wasted it. And you'll only have a certain amount of paint on there so you really don't want to be wasting it. Um, I think that's enough for the darker shades on there. We need some down here at the bottom and coming down from there. Good, and I think nearly all of that is in the shade there, so I'm just going to come down like that. Perfect. Can you see how that's made a little bit of a difference? Now I'm just going to come in and put a few lines here because that has it has lots of highlights in a minute when we come to do the highlight. Now what I want to do is just get a very pale wash. So what I mean by wash is a watered down version of a colour. I don't want it to be blue, I want it to be just grey. I think my water's just become a bit discoloured. <laughs> right, so I'm going to add. To get some fresh water, that's fine. We're just doing a grey glaze. So you can see there, hopefully you can see, I know the sun's shining on it a bit. Um, I'm just doing a bit of a glaze that I'm going to put over the window because what that will do is help um, make it feel like you can see the sea and the sky in the back but it's through glass yeah we, we want to see it but we want it to feel like it's through glass so we've got this watery wash coming over it's like a glaze and it's just glazing out, darkening down a bit and greying up, um, which is what would happen if it was behind glass. So that's all we're doing. We're just creating that kind of, you can see, but it's through something, that you're looking at something through something else. Okay, so that's had quite a nice effect. It's pushed it back a little bit. So we'll keep doing that. Oops, a bit too much paint. What we don't want to do is paint over it. We just want to put a really watery wash. So you might want to just like on the paper near you, just make sure it's it's not painting it, but it is just a watery wash. So because then we can always go over it again. So I'm going to come over here. We can come over the light that we have on the other car after. So we're just coming over and doing that glaze of the glass on all of those windows. It will just be watery and we'll just keep adding it until we're happy that it looks like there's some glass there. At the moment I think it might be a bit too pale there. So maybe just pick a bit more paint up. And if you put too much down, don't worry, just move it about. Just move it about until you're happy with it. Okay. Those bubbles will go, they're just water bubbles. Oops! did not mean to do that i dropped my brush ah. doesn't matter because we can go over it as i say you know any accidents anything that happens if you get it off straight away like i did then then fine but if you don't it's not a disaster okay i think that's looking a bit more like it's glass and it's washed out now i'm going to get my detail brush first of all i'm just going to dry that now you can leave it to dry or get a hair dryer or do whatever you want with yours I have this tool. Hopefully the sound will go off.
Now, whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm going to get my large flat brush again. And what I want to do is I want to lighten up the grey ground from the bottom up. Okay, so we're going to come along here with a lighter grey because we'll have some shadow underneath where the vans are, but then the, the rest of the, the ground can be a bit lighter. We don't really want it to be too dark. We want to have, there you can see that there's, it's darker near the vans and lighter as we go up. Keep adding that water and pushing that around because that can be more like a wash as well. And just to give that nice feeling of it blending in. There we go. And so I'm leaving some of the darker grey underneath the vans just to help give that impression. Let's get some more of that. I'm going to go even lighter, I think, towards the bottom of the page. No, let's just put some white on and go really light. There we go. And blending that in. Don't try not to leave any brush strokes. We don't want them there. But we don't want to lose that darker grey that's underneath. Yeah. Kind of leaving it like a little shadow. And then the sun's hitting the floor everywhere else. Um, what I might do is just bring in some of that blue. Just a really light version of it. That would be nice in the grey. Um, so that you can see some of the other colours in the painting in the ground yes let's do that let's do that we can we're artists we can do whatever we feel like doing you can hardly see that let's get a bit more be a little bit more punctuated with it no nope, still not right come on there we go that's lush don't you think that looks nice I suppose what I could do is put a very light colour of red down, but I kind of just wanted the blue because of the sky and the sea. So let's see how I feel as I paint. I might change my mind. Get that grey and we want a more punctuated little straight line there. Right. Happy with that bit. Now we're going to come in again. I want the detail brush. I'm going to start putting some of the details in. It's time. So, some of the grey, um, I am going to come in with grey first on my VW sign and then when it's dry I can come over the top and put the white in and that will give it the feeling then of being more silver and also the sense of 3D-ness that we were looking for. So we're talking about values from dark to light. When you lay down a colour, you need a dark, a medium and a light version of that colour in order to make it look 3D. Value is one of the most important things you can learn when you are learning to do any kind of artwork. You need shadows and light for anything that's 3D. So you need to learn about the values of your paints. And I do talk about values in all of my tutorials well I hope I do anyway I mean sometimes I'm so focused on a picture I forget that um, I need to teach you these things so yeah um, but the more questions you ask me in the comments then I will answer and I'll get used to putting them in the videos hopefully so we're just coming around with the grey creating our lovely VW signs again they don't have to be perfect this is a painterly painting it's not realism I'm not a realist painter um, you know realism takes tens to hundreds of hours we're doing a painting in an hour and a half so there's only so much realism you can do in that time okay so um, I'll let that dry and then we'll come back and put the white detail on there Oh, just put my hand on the paint. I forgot I'd just done the bottom. Right, so now we're going to just tidy up down here. So, again, it's white, but um, I think it's more of a blue white on the white. So, we're very carefully going to come round and just tidy up the shape of the bottom of the van and dis just distinguish it from the ground a little bit more. Okay, this is when we can just tidy everything up now because we've only done the one layer. Well, we've done one layer, some have had two layers. 
and um, you will have edges that aren't looking too good so we need to get them right oops a bit too much white there it's fine so I'm just going to push it along What we want to do as well is make sure that we've covered up all the lines from the drawing. We don't really want to see any lines in any kind of painting. It should just be the paint showing you where all the parts are of everything. There we go. And now that is completely white in the middle. So we can go over it. I mean, it's already white, but the white just does can go over the lines you see and kind of clear them away so we'll do that but there is a tiny little sign here on the side but it's very bright blue we're just going to put that in quickly and there's one on the other one as well must be something to do with the country that it's from on the plate okay Right, so I'm going to leave, actually I'll just dry it because I'd like to finish the bottom part. Okay. So then I'm going to come in with a little bit of the grey, come round, just come round the edge of the sign and just give it its sort of silvery edge, but we'll just use a little bit of grey for it. Come down. There we go. There's no numbers on it, but what you could do if you're painting this for a person, you could like do a personalised number plate and you can put some initials in or something. I think this one needs a bit more blurred into the bumper. We need to clear it from the bumper by putting the white in. Like I said, if you make any mistakes, just go over it. So I'm going over it with white just to make sure it is correct i'm going to dry that and then i can do the little outline right i'm going to come in really with with basically a black here because it's going to be difficult to draw around that and show the gray when there's already gray there so can you see i'm just using the very point of the brush making sure i've got enough paint and just drawing along and just giving an idea of an outline now i do want to come in and start putting in some darks on this one as well so i'm gonna get i am actually gonna get black this time and we're going to come in and just get some of that black white in here, okay, to create that darkness. It's basically the darkness that's under there that we can't really see. And then it comes here as well, across the bumper. It's just like a shadow coming around. And then there's another bit here that's a bit darker. The light is on the top of the bumper. And then there's a bit here. Now I'm going to do that with my round brush just quickly so this is the large round brush in your in your kit um, I'm just using that because I can use the point to kind of go round a bit better I think I need to blend that in a little bit so it doesn't just look like a stark line there like I did here I'm going to get some more black and I am going to come in right at the bottom of the bumper and that helps to show the 3 d as i always keep going on about 3 d 3 d i'm just having a sip of a drink right now to the top part as well so 
and there's quite a lot of dark black here i've gone over the vw but don't worry um here and we can kind of just bring it along and pull it down a bit okay because we've got that gray in the background now whenever we put a bit of black in it's going to really stand out because we just didn't go in for black straight away i want to have some more there and definitely some more at the top i need some water on my brush the paint isn't going down so to come across here from about here it's nice and then that comes down to the point and then i've kind of got some black at the front there that i'm kind of sweeping across the front now on the very top it's really pale gray really pale so we need to get some of that highlight in now so it's almost like like that over the top over the top it just shows like a little bit of glistening at the top where the sun will be hitting it yeah there we go and if we do it again here there's a bit of light here um, and there's like there's almost like a couple of lines of light there <laughs> and we're just having fun have fun just wherever you see some light add it in i'm going to do the same over on our blue one so i can see again some kind of light marks here kind of just little shadows um i might just draw them in better um and then there's some going under the windows there's some lighter parts again they're they're they're, they're mainly white um sorry about the sun shining through there it's proving very difficult to avoid the light at the moment <laughs> because i'm right in the window um but it is the best light for me to work with so the top of this one here is his is, has like a shade of light on it as well and definitely round to the side just keep looking at your picture and think where is it lighter than other places it's just something you learn as you keep painting is you keep learning where the light and the dark is there's a bit of light around the edge of that one a little bit here too and then just kind of tickling it i've got hardly any brush on my paint but just tickling the surface okay just to get some of that light shining um we've already got quite light down here but i'll just put a little bit over the top and a little bit there that's fine so we've got most of our highlights in for those colors now we need to go to the red now red is red and, uh, and the only way to darken that now is to just add a little bit of black just a little bit to create like a darker red um we don't want to go too mad and i can see that the red here on this side is darker than everywhere else so make sure we've got water on the brush we don't need a lot of that color but a little bit of it will really help to show us that the rest of it is light and then it just kind of fades into the light so we don't really want to bring it forward too much and that just shows a bit of shadow as it's farther behind we're going to do the same with the white and the the blue oh we've got red in there we don't want red in it Ooh, stay away from me red must have still had some in my brush yeah that's okay all right let's get some white in there we still want a bit of the blue because what I'm going to do is create some little light marks where I can see that it is a bit darker on this side because of the fact that it's away from the light and it's tucking in and there's probably another car over here. Okay, so we're just pulling some of that darkness in. Not too much, just a bit. Okay, and that just creates a bit of colour on there. Now, I am going to get my detail brush again. And we'll start to come in and finish off the front bits. Now they are white, 
so we're going to go straight into the white and we're going to go over the grey but we'll leave a little bit of the grey edges there and that will help sorry I had a fly just land on my nose that will help to make it look 3D I'm just going over the middle of it can you see that because there was a background colour there it kind of makes it look as though it's shiny but it also makes it stand out if we'd have just left it plain white it wouldn't have had any of those effects so it really does make a difference I'm going to go over the other one there we are going around Going. right and then the white I really want to get some around on the lights because we want to make them stand out and look quite silvery now as well so let's put some of that on there the same on the lights we want to come in with just a plain white highlight really bring that round and sweep it round that's worked as well lovely hasn't it Right, so now we want to get the white in around here as well and um, some more in the centre here. I can see that this side, like that, is more white. Can you see? Just sort of on that side. And then we need to come over and do it on the other one. Around there and then a little bit in there. Okay. We need to do something with the black down here. I'm not happy with that. It's just it's disappearing into the bottom, but a bit too much. That's fine. And actually, what I want to do now is um, darken up underneath because this will be much much darker than any of the other ground. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out in the direction of the ground. Okay. So that really helps to give it some shadow. And we can use that to tidy up any edges that we want to tidy up as well. At the bottom of the vans, I'm just moving it to help me do the that angle. It saves me kind of twisting my body, so you can do the same if it helps you. And I'm just kind of trying to blend that into, with like an almost dry brush, but not quite dry. We need to come in there a bit as well, quite dark. Okay, and then that really gives us much more depth for having that nice shadow there. You want to make sure that your strokes are always kind of across. Okay, you want to be going across and then it will blend, naturally blend into the rest of the ground that we've also made a little bit blue kind of reflecting the sky a little bit so i'm liking that effect right detail brush again where are you detail brush where did i put you i think i've lost you no, there we are right so what next we need to do the lights so they were quite grayed up as well so i'm going to get some white and we need to come in and kind of gray up, uh, lighten up some aspects of those little mirrors. Not lights, sorry, the mirrors. Um, this one is kind of really bright on that side. So, and again, that helps to give the effect of light, but it also helps to give the effect of shine. Just mixing that color again. I want it a bit darker. I don't want quite so much white in it, but I want a bit. And then I'm going to use that actually to try and paint that arm in a bit. Does that help? Yeah. Kind of. I, I just want to use that colour rather than black. I don't want to use too much black in this. In the in in the details. And um, we'll come down just to make that light look as though it's the same colour. Yeah, that's better. I'll do the same with the other one then. Just mixing those two blues. Get a nice point on my brush by twirling it. Come down and across. There we go. And a blob there. And actually that comes behind that light. 
so you need to draw it coming from there I'm going to get a little bit of a blob of a pure colour and drag that down from the point at the at the back if you see what I mean it kind of shows that that's the back of the completely the back of the mirror I think we need to make that one a bit more round Go. and then this one here yes it does it also has a red red bar there we go I haven't drawn in the other one because I couldn't really see it very well but let's have a go so it's literally just like that it seems a bit weird that it doesn't have another one so we're going to need to put that in and then just a really small kind of oval there on that side can't see much of it because it's in the distance but I will put a little bit of white on there to give it a shadow that's all we need for that one I'd say I'm going to come in with the white again just to really lighten up some of our highlights so really get the whites in because sometimes it can disappear into the background a bit when you have those highlights I want them to be really white so if you come in with some pure white get quite a bit of it on your brush and put it wherever you want just keep looking at the image even though I've changed the background that's still helping me with the overall look I'm still not completely happy with the windows so let's try that again I want the wash but maybe I need a bit more paint yeah that's better so I've got a little bit more paint on my brush and I'm pulling up from the bottom just to try and hide the colour underneath can you see now that looks more like glass I just needed to kind of push the background into the background and make it look like there is glass in those windows oh look we've missed an edge of that window there so we must do that in a minute so I basically got a very dry brush with a little bit of white on it try and get in there there we go and we've got that background there so we know but we need to make it feel as though these windows are solid so that's really helped with that right detail brush now we're doing a few little bits of outlining I very rarely outline anything when I do artwork because um, really everything you do you you want to be creating the shapes from um, painting but I do feel with this because it is quite like it's a detailed thing it's not like nature which you know doesn't have to be perfect it does have set lines and things so I'm coming directly into the dark colour just to do a little outline here because where that goes in if you look closely at the picture it is much darker than anything else and then that will help to make that front bit pop by pop we, we say that when we mean it makes them pop off the page and makes them look a bit more 3d that wasn't a very straight line was it never mind it's fine okay can you see that it's just kind of making it pop because we're giving it the outline we do need to make sure our brush is nice and pointy no straggly bristles and there okay can you see how that has done that i hope you can um so anything else i see on here that has any kind of line i will draw in okay so i just use the, the detail brush to draw in any lines that's still showing because maybe it's like this it's in a white area you just need to do that in some kind of paint color so it doesn't look like pencil and then it looks more and more like a part of the painting because you've used the paint yeah Okay. and you can just start adding a few little details of your own in whatever you want to do really it's fine just want to draw in a little bit more kind of black on the edge here I don't know why but I feel as though that needs to have quite a bit of detail on it um, now where we have the lines on this one they're black really so I'm just using the point of my brush, making sure I've got enough paint on. I'm just using the very tip 
um, and just pulling with my hand trying to keep my 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 hand steady in one place and then I'm just moving the brush around I'm almost as you can see as well put my little finger out the way and then I can really steady it with my hand um, that's it brown there I think and it comes around and up a bit and there's a little hinge there where the door must open and then we can come down like the light comes down to here and then there's a little hinge there so I'm just looking for little bits of detail now that I think I'll put a bit of black on the other one as well here and there just where I think it needs it you can go around as well use the point get enough paint on there and come around the edge of the bw like that i think i just smudged that blue then didn't i that's the trouble when you're coming in with detail you need to make sure that you're um that your uh, painting is dry so let's get some of that blue white that we had and just color that in do a few layers to go over that silly me but that's helped to teach you how to correct a mistake isn't it just go over it it's fine you won't even notice it once uh, the whole painting's been done um so now what i want to do on this one is we haven't even got all the windows in but i wanted to make sure i had the grayness you know the faded outness of them done first and correctly before we came in to finalize those window details so using again the point we're just coming in i'm looking at the picture the whole time thinking where are those details where am i going to put them <clears throat> need a bit more back need to keep twisting the brush making sure the bristles are all meeting at the same point there we go that's much better um, and then there's a couple layers of black on there kind of got the rim on this one and then you've also got the edge of the glass but if you just want to go all the way along and just do one that's fine more paint and round the front was really quite quite dark to be honest down here and then down here on the inside of that window and again make sure you've got enough paint on your brush you want nice clean lines preferably to get all these shadows in um, and this is where i also want to come in with the point of the detail brush and get my wipers in so i'm resting my little finger on here and thinking right the middle is where it's going to start it's going to go to about here and then we're probably going to have the wiper there all right so then we're going to come over to this side and do the other one it needs to be in the middle i'm going to kind of get it like that and then you will get the other one in kind of at the same angle because they would be if they'd have been switched off they'd have stopped in the same place all right um what else do we need to do we need to do wipers on this one and then we're going to come here and we're going to come across here and then we'll have the top bits okay that's all we really need to do for wipers we don't want too much detail in now uh we do need to kind of add in a little bit of background particularly in this this van this one i don't feel it needs it you don't really need to see inside that one that much we could just come in with like a very pale gray very very pale and just draw some bit bit grayer than that and just draw some kind of background shapes which would be maybe just the background of the van if you get me kind of makes it feel as though it is more of a 3d and not just um not just looking out to see and completely see through there is another part of the van there so we need to do the same here so kind of behind this wiper and all the way down we need to 
have some kind of structure in there and then like another bit here and then that creates like the edge of the van in the background now what we can do now we've got them in is build them up a bit make them a bit darker so it does feel like it's the inside of the van and make sure they go over the sea like that so that um you could even do this so it's like the top of the inside of the van yeah and then it starts to be even more 3d it's literally just gray and we're just making a little bit of outline there isn't much on that one you can't see much of the inside so but you can see more of the inside of the other one and i haven't done it so i think that's a good attempt at just i wanted to do it very subtly um without too much detail so i think that's worked quite well just tidy that bit up a bit we'll go over the wiper again should have done that first but i didn't think about it until afterwards and sometimes that's how it happens so you just have to go over what you've done but it's fine it's a little bit of black and it's a little line over oh my phone's just pinged somebody loves me <laughs> okay so at this point i mean you, you can you can stop and you can say yep done or you can keep coming over and adding more things so i'm just gonna for myself keep going but you you really don't have to so i'm going to leave it running the video running for you guys um but feel free to stop at any point you want and i'm just going to come in and start to draw draw in with the paint some of the lines that need to be there in black it's very difficult because you can only get a certain amount of paint on that point so you do have to keep coming back and forth to add the paint in. Remember to still, still keep it wet, nice and wet though. And then across here as well. Let's go around the edge of these windows because they they they'll have like a black inner lining, won't they? There's always like that. I don't know what you call it. And here, and this one. I'm trying to keep my brush wet, which will help with working that paint around. If there's no if it's not wet, it, it won't go around. Um, I'm just going to draw a little bit more of the marking on that one. And there's the magenta one again. I'm going to do that around there. It just helps to, again, just say clearly this is the window. This is the edge of the window. We're just telling a story, telling everybody else what's where. Um, and copying what you see. Um, I think we're nearly there. I do want to come in and just really punch, punch in some pure blacks with my detail brush in some areas, um, which you might not be able to really see on camera, but it does make a difference um, on here. Now we haven't really done anything with the wheels have we? So let's come in and start to do something with those wheels. I'm just going to get some black in there. Now this one had blue wheels so <laughs> I'm going to go in with the blue we made, some of that, some of that and let's punch that in here so it had a little bit of a white rim and then some blue yeah love that again it's just a little bit of added detail and it's although it's in the photograph that isn't necessary to put in but if you want to you can and then to make that outside bit look really shiny i'm just going to come in with some white here and bring that round and that helps to give it that little gloss and i'm going to do the same with this wheel I think we are really getting there now. I'm looking at it and I don't think there's too much to change. The only thing I'm not too happy with is the top of the van. And I was about to put black on and then I remember the top is so much lighter. 
so I need to kind of just level this out with the top of the van somehow because <laughs> it was just looking like a lump on top of the van more water keep adding a bit of water otherwise it won't go on smooth Um, I want to have some more of that darker red, just a little bit more. And I'm going to use that to create shadows under the lights. You see how that's helped to make the light stand out a bit more as well. Because where the light hits that, it will be creating a bit of shadow. Excuse me one moment, I'm just going to pause you. okay sorry about that guys was interrupted and i've been gone for about an hour actually to have to go and, do, go and do a few things so i mean we can actually just leave it there i think it's pretty much done you could put some clouds in the sky if you wanted to um <clears throat> you could make the the sand a bit more sandy maybe put some more colors in the sea whatever you want um but I'm going to stop there. It's a beginner tutorial, so I don't want to make it too complicated. So please do subscribe and um, like this video as well. Maybe give me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the video, if there's anything you'd like me to change. Um, or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future tutorial. There will be details of the kit below in the description. And everything that you will need to complete this. And there will also be free traceables and um, downloads. So that if you have all your own equipment at home you can have the traceable to get the drawing in place and create your own you could change the colors of the vans couldn't you anything i even thought like you could have like a big palm tree through the sky coming over here so there's all sorts of things you could do with it so enjoy and i'll see you in the next video guys bye